My name is Karen and this is the second challenge in Khan Academy's HTML, JavaScript, and jQuery Making Web Pages Interactive course. And uh, yeah, we're going to unicornify this page with jQuery. So in the last video that we saw, uh, we learned that jQuery allows you to select different elements on a page based on their CS selectors, which is pretty cool. and kind of intuitive if you've done JavaScript. So let's go ahead and complete this challenge. So what does it say to do first? First, we're going to replace the list items. It says this web page displays some basic information about horses. You'll use jQuery to replace parts of the page so that it's all about unicorns instead. In this first step, use jQuery to change the text of all of the LIs to horn. So list items to horn. All right, cool. So first we're going to start out with our jQuery little dollar sign that says, oops, we're going to be using jQuery for this line. And then we're, all we have to do is use quotation marks and then the CSS selector that we want, um, which is this li tag. And let's see, li. Dot, and then we change it using text in jQuery versus text content or HTML um, content and then as we would in JavaScript and then we're going to say what we want to change it to so it says to change it to horn. Cool. So I can see that all of my list items, the text has been changed from these um, attributes about horses to these, this horn, which is the most notable body part of the unicorn. All right, so let's go on to the next step. Now we're going to replace the headline. It says, now use jQuery to replace the main, main headline, selecting it based on its page heading ID. Change it so that this page is all about unicorns. Okay, so now we're going to use this dollar sign that lets JavaScript knows know that we're using this jQuery library that we've sourced here and then we're going to say it's um, it says ID so we're going to begin with a hashtag because that's how um, ID start and then we're going to it just says page heading so I'm going to try page heading let's go ahead and check though that that is actually uh, the um, tag we have on this so it says h1 now use J jQuery to replace the main headline. Okay, header one, page heading ID. Cool. All right, so we've referenced it with this page heading. And then we're going to go text again and then tell it what we want. We want to say all about unicorns. Cool. All right, next step. All right, so in this step, we're going to finally use jQuery to select all of the spans that have the class name animal and change their text to say unicorns instead. All right, so how, um, uh, so I typed out Java, uh, this, this dollar sign, that, uh, the jQuery dollar sign. Then I have two quotation marks and then dot animal because that's how we refer to classes uh, in JavaScript and then text saying I want to change the text property and I want it to change to unicorns. Cool. All right, so Hopper has popped up and said, nice work, keep moving on. So let's go on to the next step. Awesome, did it work? Is your page successfully unicornified with all mentions of horses gone? All right, we have all about unicorns, all unicorns gallop on four legs, unicorns, unicorns, horn, horn, horn. Awesome, no horses. All right. We completed that challenge. Congratulations from me and Hopper if you completed it, and I'll see you in the next video.